Hey you guys, it's Dan the Medic. Welcome to the channel. Now today I'm here inside the Fountain Blue and I heard that there's Chinese inside. Chinese guys, the place is called Washing Potato. Let's check it out. Let's just wait down that way. All right, guys, we are seated. This place looks a little strange. Never seen a Chinese restaurant like this before. And you get to see the people making your food through this here glass window. Amazing. So, I ordered a bunch of stuff. Let's give it a try. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Is it Steve again and me eating dim sum? You're thinking, Danny the medic. Maybe the video is a little biased, you know? You already like them some and stuff like that. So today I got for you a black guy. That's why right, I have Jamar of Jamar Shenanigans and he's gonna tell you what he thinks. So there, no more bias. Give the uh, chew chow dumpling. I mean, like, it's made well, but I don't like how there's peanuts in there. I never ever ordered this one. It's pretty okay though. Seven. It got decent flavor. Jamar is going to eat the chicken feet. Didn't think he would. It's good, but Be careful, there's bones in it. Amazing, he's not grossed out by the chicken feet. Alright, so the shrimp dumpling ha gao. It's decent. It kind of needs the sauces they provide. All right. Okay, now this thing, whatever it may be, I dip it in a little soy sauce. It's very mild in flavor. I'll give those two sevens. Very well executed. A little bit mild in flavor. Okay, now the seal might. Siomite is also very mild in flavor. 
A little bit lean, not too much fat in it. 7.5. Now this beef meatball, which is about half the size of what I'm used to in New York City's Chinatown. Yeah, it's a little bit smaller. But very flavorful. 8.5. All right. This, uh, Fuzzy ball. There we go, guys. Ah. Interesting. Too spicy the sauce from the chicken ah. feet. Oh. The puff. <laughs> Still hot, right? Seven for the puff. All right, guys, the chung fun. Cha siu chung. It's miniature. But it's okay. The ribs. It's quite slippery. Tastes pretty good. I'll give the rib an eight. All right, moolie cake. Ready for the moolie cake? Oh yeah. Somebody will be right over there. Thank you. So here is their moolie cake. I call it lo bakgo. Why they call it moolie cake? I don't know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah. Oyster sauce. There you go. Mooly cake, guys. Mooly. This is the first time I've ever seen it been called a mooly cake. Give it an eight. It's good. Wait, now we got the beef chow fun. Take a look, guys. All right, so I'm gonna help myself to some of this beef chow fun and see what it's like. It is a very small serving. First, the beef.
it's got good wok hay, but it needs salt. I put some soy sauce on it. With the soy sauce, I'll give it an eight. Alright, I'm gonna try the wonton noodle right over here guys, first the broth. The broth has no flavor. It's like hot water. Very, very little flavor, if at all. I'm gonna try the, uh, this here wonton. One that's really thick and dense. And try the noodles. I'm sure the noodles are fine, but because the broth is so weak, the whole thing gets a five. I didn't like this at all. And try the broth. Thank you very much, appreciate it. All right, when broth is supposed to flavor like noodles that are rather plain, it needs to have some condensed flavor. Very weak, weak guys, weak. Not in a disparaging way. You know, some people don't like a lot of flavor. You know? Let's try the beef. Well made piece of beef. Very well made, guys. Eight point five for the beef within this here soup. Shredding the duck. I didn't know it was meant to be shredded. Sorry. Now I'm sure this is the way it's meant to be, but I never had duck like this before. It looks very dry. And it actually looks better before she went and shredded it. In my point of view, it's, it's subjective. To me, it looks like the duck died in the Nevada desert. <laughs> and, and it dried up in the sun. Now it's all just dry and barren. And the scorpions are going to come eventually and pick at it or something like that. <laughs> The duck. Whoa, it's dry, guys. It's so dry. Wow. I didn't know it was gonna be like this. Who knew? I'm gonna pass the dryness down that way. Done with this? Five. Because I'm sure it's meant to be like this. Because you know how some people enjoy beef jerky, you know, and then and then if you're thinking about steak and you get beef jerky, you'd be like, it's way too dry. But if you buy a bag of beef jerky and it comes out like steak, you would say it's too wet. 
So this duck platter obviously is some sort of duck jerky and it's meant to be this way and then our perception was different. So there's nothing technically wrong with it. I'm sure in some country somewhere there's someone that says hi today I'm gonna have the dry desert duck and then voila they'll be so happy with it because it's very dry, very desertish, very dry guys. Now that I know it's duck jerky, I'm gonna give it another try. Is that the leg? This is my turn to me. Tortilla, guys. Duck jerky tortilla. I'm gonna put some of the sauce. Try the skin, that's why the best part. I'm gonna get some beef. Oh, you want some of this thing? Oh crap, yeah. Some scallion. Cucumber. Alright. Now I got a duck taco. Duck taco? <laughs> duck taco. That's a new So dry, right? It's too dry. What is it? Is that carrot? I don't know. You never seen that before. Carrot in the con. I don't think so. No. It doesn't taste like carrot. It looks like carrots. It looks like carrots. It looks like. What is it then? What's the mystery? It's very doughy. Whatever it is. It's cheese! No. Why do you put cheese in the kanji? This is cheddar cheese. No, come on. That's not right. Uh, it's pretty orange to be cheddar. I know cheddar cheese is orange, but... Have you tried it? No, I will now. I'm just trying now. Yeah. <laughs> Why would they put cheese in the kanji? Ask the lady. Hello. Yes. Is this cheese in my peidan sao yok chok? Cheese? That's the salted egg yolk. Salted egg yolk? It tastes like cheddar cheese. It is salted egg. Salted egg yolk, that's cool. Salted okay, egg. I shall resume. So it is not cheese, guys. It is salted egg yolk, they say. Or oh, chapa. Oh, you see that? I was wondering why the cheese did not melt in the heat of the kanji. So it kind of makes sense. It's always best to ask. It tastes like cheddar cheese. <laughs> They're saying it's not. I mean like, this is the, the preserved egg. It's preserved egg and lean pork kanji. Nowhere does it say it comes with, uh, you know, salted egg yolk. What do you think? The peidan looks good though. Yeah. The century egg is normal. The kanji is normal. I, I don't think I remember getting any pork. Is this pork? It's not really that salty that it tastes like salt egg, so I don't know. It doesn't taste like salt egg. It tastes like cheddar cheese. Okay. 
All right, I'm gonna take a macro shot and you tell me what it looks like. Quite possibly the best thing I had all day. This egg tart. Very good. Very good. Okay, so wasn't a bad experience. Would I do it again? Probably not. Um, I did try, what, chicken feet for the first time? You like the chicken feet, right? I you said it's a little spicy. Feet. A little spicy, but it's tender. You said it's a little spicy. You didn't try the chicken feet, which I felt. But I tried the chicken feet. It was pretty good. I would say out of, we have probably had about 15 different items. 15 different items or so on the menu that you chose. And yeah, take, yeah. I'd probably say the best one was the noodles with the beef in it. And then I give that a seven and a half or so and then I would go ahead and say the next best thing was the dessert the um, egg yolk pastry what was it egg tart egg mm. tart the egg tart was I'd say that was like a nine for me so overall it was a good experience because I got to sit there and enjoy it with you guys I got to try chicken feet for the first time probably the last time um, <laughs> just like to me it's kind of like gristle so it was okay i had a little chicken feet gonna pass it on okay you give us your little spiel uh, on this i think washing potato overall is pretty nice experience um the best thing i like was the seal mai second i like is the tan tart it's the egg tart um the setting is very nice and uh, they did a good job with that and this, they tried to do the the most they could with the service and you know like Jamal said they only opened yesterday so they're trying but uh do not try that duck too dry duck the duck 